The speaker, I want to make a disclaimer. <clears throat> that the people who have accused me today, may it be known, is not the president of Kenya. Neither is it any senator seated here, including the mover of this motion. I have the highest respect for institutions, I have the highest respect for the president, and I have the highest respect for my colleagues, all of them. The speaker, today, I stand here paraded before the whole nation, accused of misdeeds, those particulars have never been brought to and my attention until now. Despite me consistently asking for them. There can only be two reasons for this. The first is that the Trump trap charges against me are baseless. And that my case is a fait accompli. And therefore, I must be removed from office by all means whatsoever, even by unconstitutional means. Mr. Speaker, how I wish this sitting, with the haste in which it has been convened, was meant to discuss the plight of the millions of our people across the country who are living in dire need and abject poverty. I bow in shame to note that we are here today for such an elitist tri triviality powered by petty, divisive, and vindictive politics as the country hurts from the lethal combination of a near collapsed economy, a ravaging pandemic, floods, and a rare invasion of desert locusts. Mr. Speaker, in my struggles with the powers of darkness, especially during the past one week, I rejoice in my tribulations. Harboring hate against them would work in their favor. Therefore, I freely forgive those who have crucified me. If I don't forgive them, they will have succeeded in pulling me down into their dirty underground moral dungeon from where they cook their hopeless schemes. I am reminded of the wisdom of Martin Luther King Jr. never to succumb to, temp to the temptation of bitterness. And therefore, as a sign of strength, I forgive them without conditions. Mr. Speaker, however, let them know, wherever they are, that victory over darkness comes to the victims, excuse me, Mr. Speaker, let them know, wherever they are, that victory over darkness comes to the victors in installments. But punishment for perpetuating the works of darkness is meted out on the conspirators in one lump sum. I will forever be grateful to the tremendous outpouring of support that I have received from family, friends, fellow elected leaders, colleague senators from both sides of the house, staff, my constituents from Tarakanidhi County, and thousands of Kenyans of goodwill from across our beloved country. It took darkness for me, Mr. Speaker, to see the galaxy of stars strewn all over our nation who detest and abhor injustice. This has given me great hope that our nation shall rise again. Indeed, there is hope for Kenya. Those who think that I have made a mistake must understand that freedom includes the freedom to make mistakes. Today, Mr. Speaker, 
we must decide whether we will live in fear or we will live in freedom. I thank you. God bless Kenya. God bless the Senate.